Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing zeros of polynomial functions. So first let us define what are the zeros of polynomial functions. The zeros of a function, or the zeros of the function, p of x, are the values of x for which p of x is equal to zero. So, these are the values of x that will make our function equal to zero. The zeros of a polynomial function have the same values as the roots or solutions of a polynomial equation. So, in your grade 9 lesson, we discuss in getting the roots or solution of the equation, quadratic equation. We will be needing the methods in your grade 9 lesson to find the zeros of the polynomial function. And the x-intercept of the graph of the polynomial function. So, your lesson in grade 9 is related in this topic. Let's have the following exercises. Number 1. Find the zeros of the following functions. Okay, letter A, g of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. So let us solve. g of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. Letter A is a quadratic function. We have a degree of 2. Therefore, we need to factor out the given, then get the value of x. So, we need that p of x is equal to 0. So, we can change g of x to 0. The g of x must be equal to 0. Now, factor out. So, we have x and x. Our shortcut, factors of negative 10, the sum must be negative 7. So we have negative 5 and negative 2. Again, factors of positive 10, the sum must be negative 7. So let us check. Negative 5 times negative 2, that is positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2, that is negative 7. Now equate to 0. So we have x minus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Solve for x. So x is equal to positive 5 and x is equal to positive 2. So this will be the zeros of our polynomial function. The zeros are five and two, okay. or simply five and two. X is equal to five and X is equal to two. If you want to check your answer, you can check by substituting the value of our X. So if we have five square, that is 25 minus 7 times 5, that is negative 35. So if we're going to add 25 plus 10, 35 minus 35, that will give us 0. Okay, to visualize, if x is equal to 5, so we have 5 is square minus 7 times 5 plus 10. So 25 minus 35 plus 10. 25 minus 35, negative 10 plus 10, that will equal to 0. And the other one, if x is 2, so we have 2 squared minus 7 times 2 plus 10. 2 squared, that is 4, negative 7 times 2, negative 14 plus 10. So 4 minus negative 14, negative 10 plus 10, this give us 0. So, if that's the case, therefore your answers are correct. 
Let's proceed to our example number 2. H of X is equal to X cubed plus 5X squared plus 6X. So, we have a degree of 3. So, this is a cubic function. Study the given. To get the value of X, we need to factor out. So we have a common factors of, so this must be equal to zero. Our common factor is x. So x cubed divided by x, we have x squared plus 5x squared divided by x, that is 5x plus 6x divided by x, we have 6. Now we have a quadratic in our parenthesis. So we can still factor that out. Again, use the shortcut. This will be x plus 3, x plus 2. The product must be 6. So 3 times 2, that is 6. The sum must be positive 5. 3 plus 2, that is 5. Now solve for the values of x. So equate to 0. So we have x here is equal to 0. The other one, x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 3 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to negative 3. So we have 0, negative 3 and negative 2. Therefore the zeros are 0, negative 3 and positive and negative 2. This will be the zeros. If you want to check you can substitute the given values for x. Then, this must be equal to 0. Let's have another example. And now let's have the following examples. Direction is, determine whether the following are zeros of the polynomial function f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 13x squared plus 12x. a, 0, b, 1, c, negative 3. So we're going to test first whether it will give us a 0 if we're going to substitute the following numbers. For letter a, so f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 13x squared plus 12x. So our x, letter A, will be 0. So f of 0 is equal to 0 raised to 4 minus 13, 0 raised to 2 plus 12 times 0. 0 raised to 4 is 0 minus 13. A uh, 0 raised to 4 is 0 minus 13 0 squared is 0 plus 12 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 0 plus 0. This will give us 0. So f of 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, it is a zero of the given given polynomial function. Okay? F of, F of x is equal to zero, therefore zero it is a zero of the given polynomial function. Okay, letter B. We have f of, let's say we have 1, is equal to x raised to 4 minus 13x squared plus 12x. Substitute, we have 1 raised to 4 minus 13, 1 squared plus 12 times 1. So 1 raised to 4 is 1 minus 13 times 1 squared, that is 1, plus 12. 
Now we have 1 minus 13 plus 12. So this is negative 12 plus 12 will give us 0. Therefore, 1 is a 0 of the given polynomial function. Next. So this is the 0 of the function, 0 of the function. Negative 3 f of negative 3 so we have uh, substitute negative 3 raised to 4 minus 13 negative 3 squared plus 12 negative 3 negative 3 times negative 3 that is positive 9 times negative 3 that is negative 27 times 3, 27 times 3, that is 81. So, positive 81. Minus 13 times negative 3 squared, that is 9, plus 12 times negative 3. And 12 times negative 3 is negative 36. So, we have 81 minus 13 times 9. 27 carry to 9, 10, 11. 117. 117. 9, 10, 11. Minus 36. So 81 minus, we can combine this, plus 26. 13 carry 1, 4. So negative 143. Oh, 1. 36, 153, negative 153, so minus 81, this will give us 72, so f of negative 3 is equal to 73, that is not equal to 0, therefore negative 3 is not a 0, of the given function okay that's on how to determine whether the given value is a zero of the polynomial function just substitute to our given function thank you for watching senior pablo tv see you in our next lesson